on East York Community Council at this service. I would like to thank all of you for coming out for this important Remembrance Day celebration. On this day, we gather together to honor the more than one and a half million Canadians who have so bravely served our armed forces. We gather to remember the service and sacrifice of the soldiers, sailors, air crew, and merchant seamen in World War I and II, the Korean War, UN peacekeeping operations, and Afghanistan. All through the year, members of the Canadian forces stand on guard. This year's tragedy in Ottawa should give us all special cause to reflect on those that serve and sacrifice. Let us not forget about them or their families. We recognize the impact that active service has had on the families of those who have served and who continue to serve. From the Silver Cross mother, who represents the collective grief of parents, to the children who grew up without knowing a father or mother, their loss is not forgotten. 95 years ago, Remembrance Day was first observed so that we do not forget. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the start of the First World War. Canada's last World War I veteran died in 2010. John Babcock was just 15 when he lied about his age in order to enlist. We gather on this day because on the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour in 1918, that war ended. World War I was heralded as the war to end all wars. Despite the incredible sacrifice of so many, sadly, this was not to be. I'm sure that we can all agree that we should not limit remembrance to this day. The Royal Canadian Legion has a poetry and literary contest that reaches out to school children across Canada. I want to share with you a poem from that contest by a young woman named Alice Greer Guimond. Memories fade as years go past, yet the things they've done will always last. We are free, and yet we have forgotten. Freedom is never free. They fought for our rights and for democracy. They fought for peace so we could live in harmony. They fought for you and they fought for me. We must not forget, freedom is never free. We take it all for granted, a good night's sleep of peace, while soldiers lie and weep, not knowing if they will see the sunrise, haunted by the ghostly cries of those who died. Why don't we realize freedom is never free? Freedom is a gift we cannot take lightly. Too many sacrifice too much to give it to us. I would like, though, to thank the Royal Canadian Legion for providing a home for our veterans, a place of camaraderie and support. I want to thank them for keeping the flame of remembrance alive, not just on November the 11th, but all through the year. On this Remembrance Day, take the time to honor the veterans that are here or that you may know for their bravery and heroism. Shake their hand and say thank you. Today is also a day for us to hope and pray that one day the true peace that we all desire will come to pass. And now it is my great honor to introduce Jack Aldred, a Royal Canadian Navy retired seaman. Jack is an institution here in East York, and he is the author of Tales of Todd Morton Veterans. Today, Jack will recite for us in Flanders Fields.